gotta leave me now. Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I am just going to give a little show off of the new Aldi sewing machine. I really love it. It's just a cute little thing, and all I want is to stitch a straight line mostly, um, or usually when I'm doing paper crafting. I don't want to have to lug up my big Singer machine, because I store it downstairs. It's just a little more room down there, and either me or somebody has to bring it up anytime I want to use it. So I've, I, they had this out I think last year and then again a few months ago at Aldi's and I, both times I went to get it and it was gone. So this time I got there in time. So there it is on the, here's the box. And it comes with a huge manual. I already got it out, so I'll just show you what it comes with. It's already oiled up. Doesn't come with that napkin. It's already oiled up. And it actually is a little bit over oiled. So there's kind of, every time I use it, a little bit of the grease splatter. So you might want to play with it for a while just to make sure that that dissipates or you get rid of it. And it comes with a four batteries that I've already put in. Uh, a, a DC adapter. Oh, AC, DC. Yeah, DC adapter. The batteries go down here and I can't get this to shut again, so I might have just had it in. I don't know why it doesn't shut now. There. Okay, you just gotta press it good. So there's that. It's really cute and little. I've got ink on my fingers. Anyways, um, pretty straightforward. Here's the light. Here's the speed. There's two speeds. High or low. And it says to use low until you get used to it. There's the on-off button. Here's the... Um, plug for the, or the, you know, receptor for the foot pedal, which goes in there. And it's not the longest cord, but if you have a regular, like I, this is table is higher. If you have a regular size table, it would fit the, down to the floor. But I use it up here anyway, so. And then, this is for the AC adapter, or D, DC adapter, um, and then here is the uh, bobbin, goes in there, this comes all the way off, and then you can just change the bobbin just like a regular sewing machine, and it does note in the manual to make sure you pay attention to how the needle is threaded, because it doesn't really have like a one, two, three, you know, some old um, number stuff, but it's really just these little, kind of little spring things around the tension, through this spring, through the thingamajiggy, another springy, and down through the needle. Okay, then it has a little cutter for the thread. Uh, of course, the presser foot latch. Um, I don't know what that is. This comes up if you want to fill a bobbin. And it only takes bobbins on the top and the bottom. And you get four extra bobbin, bobbins, plus three extra needles, and a, a needle threader. Um, yeah, so the thread goes here when you want to fill a bobbin and then you have to kind of turn this and pull it out and put the bobbin on it and then just wind it over. So it's pretty super easy. And there's actually there, the manual is bigger than the machine practically. So I just did a little piece here and I did a video um, my whimsical Valentine glassine pockets 
I did a video demonstrating the machine on that. So I will, oh, and then it comes with this. So it's, you can just practice a little bit. Um, one thing, when you turn this on, it's good to, it's ready to go, it's going. Like, you have to have everything ready when you push this button to turn it on. That's for not using the presser foot. But I'm going to try to see what the presser foot's like. Or foot pedal. There. Okay, so here's one of those. And it's so nice. It doesn't go backwards. So in order to um, do a reverse, you have to stop, lift the presser foot, turn the material or fabric or whatever around to do a backward, um, like if you want to uh, baste it off that way or, or uh, tie it off that way. But I just left them hanging. So, And you can always do an old-fashioned tie-off or not. So I'm just going to do a little demo. These are some of these um, pages I made. I typed some of the um, Joan Anglin stuff on the top, some of her prose, and then one of my little hearts that I made, and a die cut of leaves that I colored. So, once I get this in here, It just starts. It's. I think the presser foot, from when I was doing it yesterday, the presser foot is only. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Maybe. Oh, I know what it did. I don't know how it works. I shouldn't have turned it on. You don't turn it on. It's really weird. So I don't know if you can use the electricity with the presser foot because it it will go on. If you don't turn the button on, I mean the presser foot will work. I don't mean to make it all goofy. There. So there's that. This stitch kind of came out. It does remind me of um, that handheld stitcher I have that I found at a garage sale a while ago. So there's that, and then let me see if I can do something. Try the presser So it's only twelve ninety nine. So I'm thinking that's a pretty good deal if this works the way I want it to work. All right, so we're gonna try the presser foot. Hard to pull the thread. There. There. That works. 
so that not straight, but looks good to me. So, um, like if you're in the, I was gonna try like they've got a kids one at Michaels, but I think it was twenty five bucks, and I just didn't want to spend that much on it to see if it's gonna work. But I think for thirteen bucks, I like it. So here's all the instructions. Like I said, there's more instructions than how this, you know, I mean, it's just a little baby thing. But um, I'm liking it so far. So um, give it a try, or if you're in the market for it, there it is. Um, thanks for watching. Bye. One that's all your own before it slips away.